Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for this video because I'm sharing some of my favorite fonts. I spend so much time searching for fonts to fit my projects, so I thought it would be helpful to share some of my absolute favorites. All of the fonts I'm sharing are from this website here, defont.com. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard of it. It's a great website for finding really pretty and fun fonts. I have a video sharing how to download fonts from Defont and install them on your computer so that they show up in Cricut Design Space. You can see this is where you click on download, but there's a few extra steps after you download them so that it's installed on your computer. I have a video on how to do this on a Windows and how to do this on a Mac computer because they are both different. The fonts that I'm sharing today are for personal use only. If you want to use these fonts commercially to sell, you would need to contact the author to purchase a license. And quickly, if I just choose one of these fonts, you can see here it'll say this font is for personal use. If you need uh, for commercial use, you can buy the license here. So most of these fonts will tell you if it's personal use and where you can buy a commercial font. If you are looking for fonts for commercial use, I've linked my favorite websites to find those in my description box. These websites are awesome and they have great font bundles where you can save money and use those fonts commercially. So if you want to check those out, those will be in my description box. Also, let me know what your favorite fonts are in the comment box. I would love to hear because I am always searching for new fonts. Okay, so I am finally getting into the video. Just a warning that I do say font a lot in this video. I want to start off by showing my favorite script fonts. I have a love for script fonts, I feel like, and I download so many. Is anyone else the same way where you just download so many different fonts? There's a few other script fonts in a different section, but that's because it fits better for like cake toppers or farmhouse style. The first font that I'm showing is probably not new to a lot of Cricut users. Magnolia Sky is one of the most popular script fonts and it's one of my favorites. It cuts out really well on the Cricut machine and I just really like the style. These next fonts are more of my favorite script fonts. I also wanted to point out really quickly, if you see these fonts with the swirls on the ends and want to figure out how to get those glyphs, I have two videos, one for a Windows and one for a Mac on how you are able to access those and use those, so I'll link those down below as well. Blenda Script and the next one, which will be Lobster, are great for logos or posters. Just remember, if you're going to be using it commercially, that you would need to buy a license. And you can see that the A is a little cut off on here. That's just because of Keynote that I'm in. For some reason, it's cutting off a little bit of the font. Next are some of my favorite thin script fonts. Just a warning with these, um, sometimes they can be a little trickier to cut out because they are so thin. Now I'll just show you some of my favorite farmhouse style fonts. Courier New should actually be on your computer already. You won't need to download this from defont.com, but this is actually a really great farmhouse style font. It pairs really well with script font, especially some of the thinner script font. This is also used on those name books if you've seen those. Aiden is a script font that I feel like is just so pretty. It's great for signs and it pairs really well with uh, Courier New. 
This next font, you've probably seen me use a ton on my channel. This looks like Ray Dunn style, so I use this a lot for my Ray Dunn inspired projects. Next are fonts that fit with movies or shows, so these are just kind of some fun fonts. First is Waltograph. This is the Disney logo. African looks like Jurassic Park. Gabriel Weiss looks like the Friends logo. And I'll just show you a few more. There are several more movies and show fonts on DaFont. If you are looking for a specific one, you can usually just Google it to find out what the name of the font is. These next fonts are great cake and cupcake topper fonts. These work really well because these are thicker script fonts, which work a lot better for the cake toppers to make them sturdy. Now I have just a couple kid slash happy fonts. I love the KG fonts. If you just type in KG in the search bar on DeFont, there's so many fun ones and a lot of them are just great for kid fonts. Now I have just two of my favorite sports fonts. I have brand ball. This is great for like the baseball style and the other one is varsity which is a really popular one as well. Here are some basic fonts. Sometimes I have a hard time finding some of these for my projects so I will show you the ones that I really like to use and that cut out well on the Cricut machine. So I have Bay Bass New. This is actually one of my favorite ones. It's very popular. I actually use this for my YouTube thumbnails. I like all of the Arial fonts. I prefer these over Times New Roman. And here's just a few more. Now I want to show you some of my favorite fonts that work with the pens on Cricut. Writing fonts can be tricky because in Cricut Design Space, if you change the font to from a cut to a writing font, it will most likely show up like bubble letters. It will have double lines and you would have to fill it in. In Cricut Design Space, you can filter for writing fonts, but most of those, if you do not have Cricut access, you have to pay for those. So I wanted to find some in the font that work well. You basically need just really thin fonts to make it work. So I'll share some of the fonts from the font that worked. If you do make the font really big in Cricut Design Space, it might get those double lines, but I have been able to use these as writing fonts. I think this one is really fun because it looks like a signature. Now I have some holiday fonts. I wasn't even going to add these because I haven't tested out some of these, so I'm not sure exactly how they cut on the Cricut, but I saw this section on defont.com and I thought it looked really fun. I'm only sharing a few of these fonts, but you can search under the holiday fonts in Defont and there is a ton of them. Lastly, I just have a few more of just some popular fun fonts that I like to use. Luna is extremely popular. I think this is a fun one for kids and I believe you can use this for commercial use for free so um, you could always look into that as well. 
I Love Glitter is a popular font for the knockout text and I actually like to use this for other projects as well because I just really like the look of it. This is my last font and I think it is just a fun script bubble letter font that I like to use as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite font in the comments. I would really love to hear. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I hope you all have a great day. Music